Talk a bit about your goal there. Uh, pretty heads up play by Terry to get you the puck there in the crease. Yeah, was, uh, was, it, was a good situation on the ice. You know, we were like, uh, it was the first shift for me. So we were trying, we were, we were uh, just trying to, you know, put the pucks in the net and uh, trying to trying to fight through. So uh, he passed me very well, so I was open in front of the net. So I was just like trying to hit a uh, uh, top cheddar and I hit it. So it was, uh, it was a good, good goal for us, you know, for uh, our confidence. And we, we just started like a play new game right after the goal. So we, were, we fell very well and then, then uh, you know, that we scored the second goal, so that was a good game. What was the message in, uh, after the first intermission? Uh, you had a pretty good response there to combat their first period of the two goals. Yeah, we did, we did like some turnovers in the blue lines, and that's, uh, that's like coach, you know, he told us that we gotta, we gotta do everything better, I think we turn on the ice, and that's, it's, uh, we said to, like, we were talking to each other here, and we said, like, we gotta, we gotta be better on the ice, and that's, that's, uh, that's what we did, and that's, that's, why we, that's why we won today. Talk about that overtime period. Um, you seem to match up pretty evenly against them. What makes them hard to play against? And you know they're they're a pretty skilled team, so uh, they're a pretty young team, so they're they're pretty fast on the ice. So it's uh, it was obviously to, uh, was tough to play against them in overtime. But uh, you know we had a PP. We unfortunately didn't score. You know uh, we, were try, we were trying to shoot the puck a lot, and then you know Palm score in a, in, a, in a shootout. So it was uh, good for us and uh, great two points. What do you think was the biggest difference in your team's performance tonight as opposed to last night? Um, so I to say, probably we're like going to the net a little bit more than we than we did yesterday, and we were like playing uh, with the puck more than we played last night, and uh, we were like more confident, and, and uh, we were just like we were. We we set some like goal before before uh, this this uh, this weekend that we that we want to win two games and we did it so it's good for us and then uh, you know we were just like trying to get as many points as we can for in the, in this week in this week and then I think we did a good job we were just like trying to play hockey and playing you know play simple some simple hockey and that's what we did and that's what that's uh, that's why we won today practicing your no look back passes for the All Star game. <laughs> Uh, just you know, trying to make plays out there, whatever, uh, whatever's available. But uh, yeah, some worked, some didn't tonight. Uh, what's your favorite part about the All Star festivities? Um, you know, probably the game. I think uh, the format now that it's three on three, it's it's entertaining. It's a lot of fun. It's um, you know, high scoring. It's uh, two on one breakaway. Sure. Um, but overall, the whole uh, the whole experience is a lot of fun been to a couple of these now. Um, did you ever think about doing what Ovechkin did and just say, I'm not going? Uh, you know, I had an injury last week that, um, you know, luckily healed up. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to play in all-star games my whole life. So, you know, I'm going to take advantage of that when I can and, and cherish those. And uh, it's an honor to be chosen and represent this team. Do you know what events you're going to be participating in for this? I know. We, we find out tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, I won shooting actually last year, so oh, nice. hopefully I uh, can defend that. Are you leaving tonight then or tomorrow uh, morning? Tomorrow morning. Okay. Um, what do you think was the biggest difference between your play, your team's play tonight versus last night? I thought we were really resilient tonight. I think, uh, you know, opportune uh, penalty kills at the right time. And uh, again, the power play generated momentum. I thought, uh, you know, after the, after the first period when Zadina scored, kind of set the tone that uh, you know, we weren't going to go down lightly and, and kind of turn turn the momentum. How do you uh, explain those struggles on the power play? Hit the net. I mean, I had uh, three or four really good looks and don't go in. But again, it, you know, we're doing all the right things. Uh, we're saying I know we're probably getting old saying the same stuff over and over again, but we're shooting, we're getting rebounds, we're we're close, we're, we're right there. So. Uh, maybe four days off, you know, refresh the, the mind and we'll get back at it in Texas. What was the message from uh, Ben after the first intermission? Uh, tidy it up. I think, uh, you know, we, we, we take a lot of pride of playing here at Van Andel and, you know, we don't lose two in a row at home. So we needed to, to a man, kind of step up and, and, you know, make sure that, you know, we had a good crowd tonight and we didn't want to see them disappointed. So Terry really kept you in that in the last couple periods there, talking about his play. Unbelievable. I think, uh, you know, too many breakaways that we give up, but obviously, uh, you know, he's been unbelievable. He's been a backbone for us and, uh, you know, full confidence in him. What have you seen from uh, Ronick since he's been back with you guys? 
Uh, I thought Phil was just all right tonight. I think that uh, I think he knows he, he has to be better. And uh, again, there's an acclimation period uh, for from coming down, getting sent down. Uh, that he's just got to settle in and, and get going down here. Guessing you appreciated tonight's performance over last night's performance. Well, I think as far as the team, we, not just him. You know what? Just the team in general. I thought did a better job of getting to the harder areas and competing a little bit harder for pucks. Uh, I didn't like our start to the game, but I liked the fact that we, we were pretty resilient and, and showed a little bit of character in the second period to battle back. And then uh, obviously against your shootout, I thought Harry got stronger as the game went on and sealed the deal in the shootout. How do you explain the uh, struggles on the power play? I wish I could. I mean, we hit three or four posts tonight. Uh, goaltender made some big saves, but it's coming along. It's baby steps. I think that uh, we've got the right guys out there. And you know, it, it, as long as you're not giving up chances, the second unit uh, gave up a few chances against tonight was a little bit more high risk, but our other unit I thought did a great job producing a little positive momentum, and uh, again, we hit three or four posts. Is it just a matter of keep doing what you're doing and the goals will come? I think that we found and I found in my travels through this game, the harder you work, the luckier you get. So just keep, you know, keep hammered home, keep working, something's gonna give. What did you think of that diving call on? Kronik in overtime. You know, to be honest, I'm at a bad vantage point, so I can't see. You know, I'll look at a video there, but I, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, the refs saw what they saw. I can't, whatever I say is not going to change anything, so you know, I'll look at it and I'll either agree or disagree, but I didn't I didn't see it live at a, at a good angle to, to give you my opinion on it. It's a pretty nice play on the Sabina the goal. Uh, Terry, kind of a no look pass to him, and he had his head up the whole time ready for the pass. Mm -hmm. What did you think of him tonight? Zadina. Zadina? It was okay. You know, again, it's with him, it's consistency. He's got to make sure that he's not swinging, he's not cheating. Uh, he, he's fast enough and he's good enough not to have to cheat for offense at this level. I think the quicker he realizes that, the more consistently he, he does not cheat for offense, he's going to be more successful. Is the shootout order or something that you just kind of determine at the last second, or is that kind of always a plan to go with those guys? Or? Uh, you know what, we do shootouts every day in practice. So, you know, guys that are pretty good, we see what they can do, uh, who's playing well during the game, and then uh, we got our lucky charm uh, that makes some decisions for us. So Terry uh, kept you in there a couple times. They had a few breakaways, uh, second and third, and over time. What do you think about Satari tonight? Uh, again, like I mentioned, I thought he got stronger as the game went on, and, you know, the fact that uh, he's a battler. He competes. He competes hard. He battles. Uh, he just, he, he's a worker. I mean, he, he's, he's been playing very well uh, the last, you know, his last six or seven games. I think his numbers are proof of that. But again, he's, uh, he's a pro. I mean, he comes and he competes every day uh, in practice. He doesn't need the chosen games. Does it help to have two strong goalies and you have these back-to-back -back games? I think it helps to have two strong goalies all year. I mean, that's one of the reasons why San Jose is a phenomenal team. We saw Coroner last, uh, last night. We saw Bebo tonight. And anytime you have two good, two good goalies to give you a chance to win a hockey game, uh, you're in a good spot. And you know what? As good as San Jose's and as good as their goaltenders are, I think ours are just as good.